Yo, what up everyone? Zona Bra here coming at you with a new video. Today we're going to talk about something very important that I really enjoy doing. Uh, and if you guys are interested in working in the gaming or the esports industry, this might be something you are interested in to get started. So what I want to talk about today is called playtesting or QA support. It has so many names. I call it playtesting because, because this is how it was introduced to me at first, but there's so many ways to call it. The simplest way to describe it is basically you go to an office, you try a video game that is not released yet, uh, you say whatever you think about it while you're playing it to a person that works for the company, and you get paid or you do not or you get to meet people and you get a free shirt whatever this is super interesting and i really want to encourage you to do the same let me tell you about my experience that i had yesterday i'm here at the building where i'm going to do the play test i'm a little late so i'm not going to talk to you a lot uh i just want to make sure i just want to check in a little bit so this is a building where there's a lot of offices and one of them is glue mobile so the company where i'm doing the play test at i will not film inside because I'm not allowed to and I don't I cannot talk about the game but this is just to show you what it looks like so I'm just gonna check in and I'll catch you later guys cheers yesterday I went to a company called glue mobile if you don't know glue mobile they do a lot of games like uh, Kardashians Hollywood uh, they do a lot of like a strategy game uh, they work with celebrities like they try to do games for celebrities which are making a lot in revenue there are companies that are based in san francisco and they post sometimes stuff like they call out people okay guys we got this new game we want to try it out come and we'll give you uh i think i got like 75 dollars on uh as an amazon gift card for one hour of play test so it's technically it's worth my time like obviously like 75 dollars amazon it's like the price of uh, let's say a video game plus some last leftovers personally i'm going to save the money to buy gear for this youtube channel maybe a new webcam or like a uh, new gear in the audio so i'm just saving this money but it's very interesting to be there and just to learn how it works like so those are a few tips that i want you to do so the first thing is that you want to go to websites like craigslist uh, facebook events you want to go to you want to know what company is based where you're from like if you're in paris if you're in san francisco if you're in new york if you're like there or there you want to know what company is there you want to see if they do anything like do they usually call people from outside to try their games uh, is this something they usually do so just go do some research on google go on craigslist go on all those websites type like user research or gaming user research or user testing or game testing like just try to google all that stuff if something comes up then just sign up for anything you can get even if it doesn't pay you don't care like you're gonna you're gonna love the experience trust me even if the game sucks and trust me i tested games that really really sucked i can't tell you the story but once i'm out of the nda contract or once the game is actually released i will be able to tell you uh but it's a funny and it's a crazy story so i cannot wait to make a video about that once you search and once you sign up for everything just wait just see what people respond make sure you you respond honestly they just want to know stuff like your age how often do you game what games you play so they're going to study your case and they're gonna email you back be like okay we have three availability like 9 p.m uh, 9 a.m 12 p.m 1 1 p.m whatever you just pick one you show up and you play the game if you don't have that if it's not as easy as that uh, if it's not like an established process by the company feel free to email some companies like companies will be glad for you to be like okay guys my name is Nathan uh, I'm a gamer I love your company I love what you do I want to tell you that I'm available for play testing if you guys need some honest feedbacks I want to get involved in the gaming industry or the esports industry so if you guys have a slot uh, one day if you can let me like give me an hour I would I would be honored to give you some feedbacks honest valuable feedback about your game thank you so much for your time here's my email here's my phone number here's my Skype username and just wait you might get an answer like honestly you never know let's say you got an offer now you got an offer you show up at like 2 p.m. whatever show up at least 10 minutes early because you want to make sure that you are not right on time that you have to jump in like to the room and play like video games you want to be early so you can lend work with people like you want to talk to the guy having coffee there you want to talk to the to the front desk uh, person like you want to start meeting people this is very interesting like you're not here only to play video games you're here to discover, to learn, and to just like network a little bit. So once you get into the game room, so for me, my experience is that you get into a, a very small cubicle with one person, and in my experience, it was a woman, very, very nice. By the way, if you watch this video, hello. I told her I had a YouTube channel. And she's going to tell you, okay, uh, this is 
this is a play test. I want you to give me your entire honesty in terms of like feedbacks. I want to hear whatever you have to say. If you have to say it's shit, then say it's shit. If you have to say it's amazing, then say it's amazing and tell us why. And if we can do something better, tell us why, etc. So in this case for Glue Mobile, it was a mobile game. So you hold your phone like that, you play, and she has kind of like an OBS setup where she records you here, she records you from here as well to see where you're tapping, where you're using the phone. And you play and you just think out loud. You're like, oh, this is, wait, I'm not getting why is this coming from, wait, why, why is this here? Like, wait, what does it do? What does it do? Oh, like, basically all your thoughts, you just express them out loud so she, she can get a grasp of how is user experience and how she, she can like understand how you play and how a regular user would play. And it's so interesting. So, the whole hour, if the game doesn't suck, it's really fun. Like, you get to play a game, and you get to know what people are looking for. Like, she's going to ask you a question. He or she is going to ask you a question. Like, oh, what does this represent? Oh, how can you attack the enemy base? Oh, how can you do this? How can you do that? And it is very interesting to think about it as a developer way. Okay, so, how can someone design this better? How can, how can this be done so that... A 10-year-old can understand, but as well, a 25-year-old can understand as well. How can you make sure that a gamer will play once and then want to come back? And you get those conversations with this person, and you're like, I'm a student, I'm a, I'm, just, I'm a student, I never worked in the game industry. And suddenly, you feel included in the team. And that's so nice. If you guys are interested in gaming, honestly, this is a must-do. Uh, and even, it could be really nice for your resume. Like, if you start doing those, you'd be like, okay, I tested like 20 games in the past 7 months. It's always nice. I mean, you know how it works. You, you get feedbacks. You give your time. And it's really, really cool. I would put some links down below to tell you a little bit what you should do to search. Maybe I can do an article or something. I would see what I post down below, but go check out the description. Take a shot, guys. Like, don't really care about money. Like, let me see. Let me see just one note. Don't. So, don't really care about the prices. Like, even if they don't pay you, even if, the, if, even if they don't value your time and they want to give you, like, absolutely nothing, it's okay. Like, get a business card. Get to meet, like, the CEO. Uh, ask for a, a, a headquarter tour. Uh, ask for a t-shirt. Just hang out a little bit more after the playtest and just start talking about stuff. Be like, hey, I'm a student. I'm going to be looking for a job in a year and I love your company. Is there any way I can, I can get a, an internship this summer? Do you guys do internship programs? Like, ask, guys. If you don't ask, you'll never know what to say. Networking with people is, of course, super interesting. Like, honestly, all those people are here in the gaming industry. They work in the office. They see the same person all the time. You hear coming from the outside. You're like, yo, yo, what's up, man? Like, what do you do here? Like, tell me about your job. I want to know what you do. I did it so many times, and it's so interesting. Even when you have, like, a spare minute where you have nothing to do, uh, or, like, a person leaves you in the lobby and someone's coming by, I'm always like, yo, what's up, man? Would you mind telling me what you do here? I'm really interested in the gaming industry. Um, and the guy was like a... Uh, he was like an audio designer or something. Like, he designs audio for games. So, like, all the explosions and stuff. He does the audio for that. That's, that's what I think he does. I'm, I'm not sure. You need to ask questions. So, you're here to give your feedbacks. Like, you're here to say, this sucks. This is good. This is not good. This is good. This is not good. But you also need to ask questions. And this is so important because you're also here to learn. They're here to learn from you. But you also want to learn from them. So ask questions be like, oh, how does this work? Like, oh, how is this uh, how is this related to this? Or like, just ask questions like, oh, how often do you work on this game? How how much time do you need to design a game like that? When is it going to be released? What do you think will be your marketing strategy for this? Or what do you think, how are you going to market that? Who's your target audience? Like, stuff like that, it will make you appear like someone that is very interested. And the person in front will be like, oh, this guy is actually really interested. So let me just have a conversation with him. Click out this video, go on Google and, and just search playtest user research near me for gaming industry. Start emailing companies, even email their support team or whatever. Like, be like, yo, I'm sorry. I don't even have a problem with my game. Or I don't have a problem with my, my gear. I just want to get in contact with someone from the company. Can you put me in relation to that? I want to do some playtests for you guys. I live like two blocks away from your headquarters. Try, try shit out guys, it's awesome, this is the second one I did yesterday, I absolutely loved it, and I actually want to do it like every single week, or as soon as I can, like get, just get back into it, start networking some more, start working some more with those people, it's really, really, really awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope it really helped you, if you need help, if you want advice uh, concerning this, hit me up on Twitter, at Zenobra, or ask me anything in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Cheers.